Welcome back to Mazerna Falls. Now, at the end of last session, we had experienced a game ending glitch, which is going to force our hand and we have to restart the entire experience. Now, this is not a bad thing. This is certainly not a bad thing. So as I was doing a bit of a reading online, um, apparently the win state of this game in order to actually learn what happens and get the final ending or the good ending or whatever, you need to be so utterly strict with your timing and where you are, and if you miss like a single event, uh, you get a bad ending. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna follow a guide to the T. And I think it's still gonna be great. Seriously, I think like I'm so interested in these characters and the intrigue of the mystery and, and the health of our victims and such that, that, man, this is happening with some frequency, let's press start here. That honestly, I think just having a guide tell us where to be is gonna be fine. You know, we still get to watch the story unfold and such, and we still get the joy of driving around that town and soaking in the sights and the vibes and such. Honestly, I'm pretty fucking excited. And apparently, even with a guide, the timing can be so fucking tight that, you know, you can still fuck up. So I should be save stating far more than I have been. That is to say, not at all. Let's give this another shot, huh? New game. Uh, we can skip this intro. I think it's going to chuck us right to the uh, police station. So I have this uh, walkthrough up on my phone, and I believe it's written by the translator themselves. How cool is that? Skip in the prologue. Come on. Shut up. I think maybe as soon as they give us control, we can skip it. So until that point, we will uh, we'll play it out. Get back into the swang of things here. Hello? Matthew? Winona? Is that you? Of course it's me. Are you calling this early? I just got a, fo I just got a phone call from Mrs. Rowland. Something's happened to Emma. Winona, calm down. Start from the beginning. Right. Okay. So, Emma's mom called me asking if I knew where she was. So what? So, she hasn't seen Emma since last night. Wait, last night? Yeah. Why? Did something happen? No, no, it's nothing. Listen, let's meet up and talk this through. Emma's been acting strange lately, don't you think? I'm just... Just worried. Probably nothing. Don't panic. I'm not! You should have heard Mrs. Rowland. She could barely string a sentence together. Something must have happened, if she's that scared. Look, I'm on my way over now, okay? was taken this summer when Emma, Winona, and me had that barbecue. Emma was a normal kind of girl. Winona wouldn't be this worried about her. She's a loner and impossible to read. You can never tell what's going on in her head. Last night, when I tried to talk to her, she was a million miles away. But still, there was just something about her. Something that made her look beautiful. Yeah, beautiful. More beautiful than ever. Maybe something really has happened. Skip it. Skip it, baby. Okay, here we go. We're kicking in. Heck yeah, dude. I don't think there's much in the way of... Rem Hold on. You can't just breeze on in. Uh, excuse me. Oh, Matthew. Did the sheriff call you in? Yeah. Mary Lou Lang. Sheriff's department receptionist and avid gardener. She haphazardly decorates the station with plants, much to Morgan's chagrin. 
When Ona was here a little earlier, she's awful worried about Emma. I know. Is Morgan here? Yep. After you go through that door, the sheriff's in the room on the right. Thanks. Be sure to knock before you enter. You might be master. He's strict about that kind of thing. Check this shit out, fam. There's a map of the town lying on the floor. Uh, excuse me, you left one of the maps lying here. Oh my, still? Gotta pick them all up. It's for tourists, right? Yep, gotta get ready for tourist season early. You can have it if you want. We got loads of them. You know what, thanks, I will. Could come in handy. You got the town map. <sighs> Are you fucking kidding me? How do I access the map? Look at this shit, dude. Look at this shit. Nas's general store. Oh my god, dude. It's all right fucking here. Gruber's hospital. Emma's house. Barrow's forest. Just It just blows me away, dude. You can just miss it. You can just miss it, and miss it we did. Would've made our life a fuck ton easier, huh? Zerna Falls bulletin board. New. This is the intro cutscene. Dude, why does the music just die? Everyone, tragedy has struck our town this morning. After being found on the verge of life in the forest, Father Barton's daughter, Kathy, has fucking died. Compounding matters, my own daughter, Emma, is missing. Coordinating with the police, I am organizing a search party to sweep the forest. City councilors, please gather at the church at 1 p.m. today. Mayor Steve Rowland. Okay, hold on. Hold the phone. Steve Roland is the mayor. I don't think we've met him, but isn't Ms. Roland our teacher? I think so. There it is. There it is. You see this shit all the way at the end of the road? The fucking church. 1 p.m. Dr. Morgan. This game's so fucking cool. Min. Oh, it's you, Matthew. I said some shit real quick. I hope you heard me. Fine. A lot just happened. Yeah. I can't believe Kathy is... <sighs> but enough of that. I'm opening an official missing persons report about Emma. Yeah, I heard from Winona. I'd like to ask you about last night again. You saw Emma at the lakeside around 7 in the evening, right? Yeah. I tried to talk to her, but she was being distant. She said she wanted to be alone, but I left pretty quickly. I haven't seen her since. I see. Um, about Kathy. You said earlier there was something strange about what happened to her. Hmm. Does that have anything to do with Emma? Matthew, this is a job for the police. I know, but you've got to let me help in some way. I can't just sit around doing nothing. Be that as it may. Yeah, now I'm fucking here. What are y'all bitches talking about? Hudson, you're back. Gotta go. Hudson Lang, 29. A strong, silent type. He serves as Morgan's right-hand man. He's also responsible for guarding the holding cells. Emma's mother was in shock, unable to talk. Oh. We found someone who says they saw Emma at around 10 p.m. last night. Ooh. Go on, don't mind him. Bell Aston. 
Shit! Mel? That punk, huh? You ain't really saw him out for a while while he was on his way to the bar. Says he got out her, but she just didn't answer him. So he just let her be. And he hasn't been home at all night. Where's Mel now? We got him waiting in the interrogation room. Now we're getting somewhere. Matthew, if your mind's set on helping, you should ask Cohen about Kathy. He's the one who found her in the forest. You'll recall. Right? Okay. I know you're worried about Emma. Don't get too involved, okay? If anything happens, call me immediately. And here we fucking go, dude. No dawdling. We're going right to Cohen's cabin. Right there. Check the yellow pages near the door. Captain Nazas and Cohen's lodge will be added to the map, baby. Let's fucking go. We're moonwalking there, bitch. Come on. I believe that clock is wildly inaccurate. The analog one. Uncle Nas says Americans f America's phone book is renowned as the world's best. My house is in here too. Where's Cohen's house? Here it is, Deer Street, in the west part of town, near the forest entrance. Nothing to look up right now. A good resource to have, huh? Right, let's get in our fucking car. Alright, we gotta get to, uh, Cohen's Lodge. There are some paragraphs in this walkthrough that are, like, written in blue text. And I believe those are, like, the ones that you have to do. And if you miss it, like, you fucking lose. Oh my god, I love this stupid town, dude. I love this stupid town so much. How do I go? That's how we go, baby. Wait. You're fine. We should consult the map. Wait, I have to- I can't do it in my car? Are you fucking- oh no, we can't. Uh, Cohen's Lodge is here. Right, that's this. We want to take the next left. Left, left, right. And then we should find it. Alright, here we go, baby. Left, 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 right, left, left. Not that. Look at how reckless of a driver Matthew is. Not I. I will take no responsibility. Such is my nature. Oh, there's a thing. There's. I think. I think this means he's here. This is so exciting. Get out. Get out of your fucking car, dude. Cool. So like his car is here. If he is here. Pop pop. There he is, dude. That's our boy. Hi, Matthew. What's up? Um, well... Cohen Strasbourg, 55. The first person to discover Kathy at the scene. He lives alone in a lodge near Burroughs, Barrows Forest. Morgan has been entrusting him with overseeing said forest. Here to ask me about what happened this morning? Yeah... I thought you might know something about Emma. Come on in. Let's go, baby. Strasbourg residence. Cozy, dude. Something to drink? Nah, I'm fine. Before we talk about this morning, let me tell you about how the forest was last night. I went out there like I do every night, but this time things felt strange. 
There was no wind at all, and it was dead silent. No animals. Nothing. I was creeped out. Then, around midnight, a strong wind picked up out of nowhere. A great host of clouds started to blot out all the moonlight. I take it that hasn't happened before. Never. I lived here for a while. Not once has the forest been anything like that. Later, early in the morning, I woke up with this terrible feeling like a... premonition. I swallowed my fear and hurried to the forest as fast as I could. Then you found Kathy collapsed. Mm-hmm. Was Emma with her? I found Kathy in front of a big tree. It looked like someone had set a fire around it. A fire? So Kathy wasn't alone? It seems not. Maybe Kathy met someone in the forest and got attacked by the bear later. Even if the two of them were together, why would they go to the forest? Is that it? Thanks. First, we have to figure out what really killed Kathy. Then we can worry about what she was doing in the forest. And, uh... Matthew. I think Emma's still alive. Yeah. Me too. Catch you later. Okay. 1030 Emma's house? You need to get to Emma's house by 10.50 or Winona will... What the fuck? Save state. No, no. How do I do this? Zero. I don't give a... Just save it. Jesus. It's like 10.30 now, dude. Knock on the door. Oh, so we gotta get to fucking Emma's house. Okay. In 18 minutes. Oh my fucking god, dude. Where- so we're here. Emma's house is- Here? Emma's house. Okay. So we're gonna take a left, a left, past the hospital, and then a left to the residences. Then maybe we'll consult the map again. Sheesh! Okay! Fucking let's go! No, you- no, now is not time to be stopped while stairs. Get in your fucking car. Dude, we have 15 minutes. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way, dude. Oh my gosh, dude. None of this. None of this, dude. None of this. Yeah, there's there's simply no way. There's simply no way, right? But I'm, I'm already going the wrong way. I'm this is I'm already going the wrong way. Check the map. Check the map. I'm already going the wrong way. I think I had to go straight first. Yeah. Reload, baby. Reload. Reload. Load state. Here we go. Go, 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 go. Oh, dude, it's a safe step. Get, get caught on. We get caught. Look, dude. You need to run, though, bro. No, 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 no. This is fucking nuts, dude. Matthew's a pretty quick driver. He's a pretty quick driver. Okay, past the hospital. There's no way. There's no fucking way, dude. Because then we have to identify the house within the other houses. Wait, and I think if I don't get this, I lose! And then a hard fucking left, right? It's this way. Wait, does this actually mean if I don't get this, I have to? Dude, hold on. There is a way. There is a way. Stop, stop, stop. I don't know which one. Okay, this is a practice run, then. We'll find the house. We'll find the house first. Maybe it's this one. Wait, we have three minutes. Maybe we can do this. Hold on. It, is it the one right in front of me?
Did we get it? Hi, hey, Matthew. What's up? Oh, 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 oh! Can I? Can I? Oh. Oh. Winona's here too. Come on in. Ish. Oh, this is so cool, dude. Matthew. B. Roland, 45. Emma's father in the town mayor. Oh. I think they said Ms. Roland looked after Emma like she was a little sister? Maybe she is Emma's older sister. He's agonizing over how he could have tried harder to understand his daughter. Sarah's been like this all day. Who's Sarah? Sorry to hear. Why did this happen? My little girl. Oh, Sarah's... Emma's mom. This is Roland. <laughs> Sarah Roland, 40. Emma's mother. Still in shock. She's been reduced to moping around the house like a fucking loser. Hey, stay strong. We can't give up hope. Emma. <laughs> Thank you, Matthew. We can't all just descend into despair. Wherever Emma is right now, she needs our help. I've decided to help Morgan with the investigation. Is that so? On that basis, would you permit me to look through Emma's room? No! When she comes home, it needs to be exactly how she left it. Sarah. Matthew, we both want to help, but just give her some time, okay? I don't want anyone going into Emma's room until Sarah calms down. Alright? Alright. Matthew. You okay? Nothing. Don't worry about it. What's wrong? I... What's wrong, bro? Do tell, Winona. Matthew, do you... You like Emma? Yeah, sure. I mean, of course I like her. I think she likes you, too. What's all this about? Especially in front of her grieving fucking parents. What are you, a psycho? Like I said, it's nothing. Listen, my dad set a curfew for me after what's happened. I don't blame him. Yeah, I get how he feels, but I'm like 18 now. I'm not like a fucking kid anymore. True. Hey, Matthew. If you're leaving. Could you uh, give me a ride home? Heck yeah, dude. Hold on. Give her a ride. The gas station will be added to your map. Sweet! Heck yeah, dude. Thank you. Thanks for the ride. You remember where I live, right? Thanks for the ride. You remember where I live, right? How was Emma last night? Well, she got home around 8 p.m. Talked a little. About what? About how Christmas is sacred. But there must be a powerful force at work for the day. That name is Jesus Christ. Emma said that? I figured she was getting, just getting into the holiday spirit. After that, she said she was tired and went to her room to go to bed. I heard at the uh, police station that Mel saw Emma out for a walk at around 10 p.m. Really? Then she must have snuck out. Yeah, I guess so. I can't believe she would do such a thing. Matthew, thank you for caring. Matthew, thank you for caring. Oh, the despondent one. Oh, no, no, you following me around? Hang in there, Mrs. Roland. <laughs> Mrs. Roland? I wonder when Kathy's funeral will be held. Do you know Matthew? No. I see. Oh, oh, Emma. Where are you? Oh, oh, Emma. Where are you? All right, Winona. 
I'm just gonna use your bathroom real quick. I'm just gonna use your bathroom real quick. I don't have time to fuck around like this, John Boy, but it's in my nature. I just walk around the house. Dude, Winona does the thing too! Look at her! Look at her! I know there's probably a fucking... Uh... Hotkey. The safe states, but I don't know what it is. Alright, Winona, let's get to the gas station, huh? Sheesh! And how cool is it that we made it by a single minute? Oh, that's not my car, you fucking idiot. Okay, we gotta get to the uh, gas station, which is where... Pretty far. Alright, so we get out of here, and then we take the second left. And then we'll take another left and follow that through town, go straight, and then a right. Okay. I am excited to actually, like, have this map kind of memorized. And now, like, actually having a visual cue or a visual aid to actually give me a sense of space and how these things are actually geographically placed in relation to one another, you know what I mean? I think it's going to help a fuck ton. Man, I can't wait for it to snow in real life. I think I could live in a place where it snowed all year. Or most of the year. I think I could do that. I love the snow so fucking much. Alright, hanging a left ski. Nope! This is the way to Cockland, dude. Man, I'm always drawn to Cockland, huh? Don't tell Freud. Oh, it's right fucking here. We made it, bitch. Thanks. You okay? Just thinking. Yesterday, I went to the school library with Emma... Go on. Emma was reading this dense, thick book. A book. Why did they give us the scare fanfare? It had something to do with philosophy. Not philosophy! Remember she had to get it down from the top of the bookshelves? Why does this stand out to you? That's the thing, it shouldn't. It was uneventful. I know this sounds weird, but I feel like Emma's somehow... Guiding us. Alright, you fucking weirdo. Like, I remember this for a reason. Well, we're all dealing with this differently. You can deal with it in your own psychotic way. Hello, sir. Hi, Matthew. Well, I want to come on inside. Yeah, Dad. It was him. The dad did it. Thanks for the ride. It's pretty obvious that Winona is just basically pretty jealous, I think, of Emma. Not just that Winona necessarily has a crush on Matthew and he suspects that we have crushes on each other, which I think we do, because he even called her quite beautiful in that photo a number of times. Uh, but even just the way in which Emma seems to be a little more, I don't know, unshackled. I guess it is kind of like a Laura Palmer thing, or like a Rachel Amber kind of thing. You know, like they're completely free spirits and that winds up being their undoing. 
Um, but to everyone around them, like they venerate them or even lionize them. Um, I love that trope. I really, really do love that trope. So it says here we have some free time and that we should hit uh, Nas's next so that we can get our notebook. Um, And we can save, apparently. How do we save in this game? Save states, that's how we do it. Head over to the high school after that. A scene will begin where Matthew meets Liz Holden. We saw that, we saw that. Head into the library. This part is written in blue, so this must be important. We have to find that philosophy book. But what is our next? We have to be at the church between 12.30 and 1.00. So, man, this is so anxiously tight. We have an hour! No, dude! Okay. Uh, so we're gonna go straight down this road and then take a, take a left. And grab our notebook real quick. This was super snappy to get here. I'm gonna talk to this chick. What you got to say? Main school building's been placed off limits. I forgot something in my locker, but I can get in. Guess they don't trust me. Well, kid, it's because you're a pothead. Oh, we don't have time to be running into walls. So that is Matthew's favorite thing to do. Load me, daddy. Where was it? It was like in this louvered thing. There's a notebook in here. Will you take it? Nice. Cool. Um, it said I can get a flyer, but I don't think it's necessary. So we want to run to the high school now. I don't know if we know where that is, though. Hmm? There's a flyer in here. Grab it. Auto Garage. We treat your car like family. If your car breaks down, just call us toll-free at Triangle, 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 Triangle. Cool, dude. Alright, so 11.30 high school. What time is it? How are we behind schedule perpetually? Like me in real life. Okay, so uh, high school's close by. High school's close by. We just need to take a left at the intersection. Left at ooh, what it what ooh, which left though? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Is this what you're talking about? Just in case, dude, you can't you can't open your options unless you're fucking stopped. In your car, which I guess makes well, no, okay, we're good. I was gonna say it makes sense because, like, if he's whipping out a map, you can do that while you're driving. Is it to the left here? What did I? I hear a snowbank. It's like right here, right? It is. It is. It is. Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out of your dumb car. Man, I like traveling with Winona. I feel kind of fucking lonely right now. In the game.
Finding Matthew Williams in the library. Must be a Christmas miracle. Tiki. Huh? Huh? Oh, Miss Holden. Liz Holden, 26. Matthew, Emma, and Winona's homeroom teacher. She treated Emma like a little sister and was one of the few people Emma could open up to. Hey, uh, Matthew, I, uh, I heard about Kathy. <laughs> Do you think Kathy and Emma were together last night? I have no idea. Frankly, I wonder if Emma and Kathy are connected at all. What do you mean? I saw how stressed Emma had been lately. Whatever was worrying her is probably why she disappeared. What was she worried about? I don't know. It was just the feeling I got from her demeanor, her body language, that kind of thing. I'm sorry I couldn't be of more help. Well, I need to get back to the uh, main office. Hey. Okay. Get in there. Oh my god. You really have to be completely parallel to the door. Okay. Hold on. Let's see what we have to do. Head into the library and approach the receptionist. She'll tell Matthew where to find the books on philosophy. Pick up the small footstool in the center of the room and use it to reach... Okay. Okay. Oh shit. Dude, I'm just stuck on everything. Where are the books on philosophy? Second bookshelf from the right, on the wall next to the door. They're on the top shelf. Whoa, this is so cool, dude. Gameplay! And use it to reach on top of the bookshelf. From the corner of the wall, which leads onto the corridor, move to the second book... I'm getting stuck on so many fucking... Is it this one? Is this what you're talking about? Wait. Oh, or, th or these bookshelves. I don't have a lot of time to be fucking with this, dude. Wait, no, 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 no. It's just, 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 you, you just don't. You just don't. This might take us a fucking minute to do. No! Especially if I continue to be a fucking idiot. Okay, wait, hold on. Pick up the small footstool in the center of the room and use it to reach on top of the bookshelf. From the corner of the wall, which leads into the corridor, move to the second bookshelf from the right. From the corner of the wall, which leads onto the corridor. I, I would have sworn that was this. So this has to be the corner. I'm assuming this... This here would be the bookshelf. Like, this is, this is the bookshelf that my intuition is telling me to, to investigate. Clear, clearly no. Clearly no. Now I need to stop doing this. Pick it up. Pick it up. Okay, so this is the corner, or unless it's the... Oh, it's gotta be this. So if this is the corner, second on the right or second from the right? Oh, dear. Second from the right would be this one then, right? There's supposed to be a circle prompt. There's supposed to be a circle prompt. Maybe it is on the opposite side. Back it up, baby, back it up. Back that dump truck, let's, back it, let's, let's go. This one, this is maybe this side. Maybe it's only the one, the one side, you know? Fuck my dick. I'm not getting any prompts to investigate any books. It's okay, we're not, we're not going to worry about getting our timing because we save stated and we will find out where the book is, reload the save state, and then hoof it to the church. Where are the books in philosophy? The second bookshelf from the right, on the wall next to the door. On the wall next to the door. Oh, wait, second. Okay, on the same wall as the door. 
Where's the sh she increased? Where is it? Give it to me. So maybe this one? Instead? Yes! Is this the book Winona mentioned? It's titled A Complete History of Western Philosophy. Hmm. There's a bookmark stuck between the pages. Nothing exists. Even if something did exist, it could not be understood. Even if it could be understood, that knowledge could not be communicated to others. Kind of dark. Did Emma leave this bookmark here? I could ask James about it. Load in the safe state, baby. We found it. Jesus Christ. Bye, music. Is this the book Winona mentioned? It's titled... There's a bookmark stuck between the pages. Nothing exists. Even if something did exist, it could not be understood. Even if it could be understood, that could not be understood. Kind of dark. Honestly, that's not that dark of an idea to me. I think there's so much truth to it. Um, Hold on. Is that all I gotta do? You're stuck, the book can be found in... Oh, sh it's a fucking... They posted a picture of the thing in the walkthrough and I didn't look at it. All right, we gotta go to the church now. Okay. Because to me, a, declara a declaration of that sort, you know, whether or not things can even be understood out of the gate, whether or not that is a lost cause, and then if they can be understood, whether or not they can be communicated with others, um... There's joy in attempting. You know, that alone is a beautiful mission statement for life, as far as I'm concerned. We don't know if external reality can be understood in any compre comprehensible way, either through language or something a little more mysterious. That doesn't mean we should shy away from the attempt. And if we die never getting there, who cares? At least we tried. That's something that took me a long ass fucking time to figure out. Or to, I guess, embrace. Much more fun to be emo. It's much more fun to be emo, like, you know, Emma. We all did when we were young. Um, okay, so we're going to the Choich, which we haven't been to before, but it seems to be on the opposite side of the fucking map. Okay, so we want to go back through town. No, wait, hold on. Is it quicker to go left out of here and then, like, around the horn and then past the gas station? No, I don't think that is necessarily quicker. Yeah, it is quicker, for sure. Okay, so we'll go left here. We'll hang two lefts. Three lefts. And then check the map again. Yeah, I just remember when I was young, I used to study philosophy and read philosophy books, like, almost in search of, you know, obviously, I was a confused kid, as most of us were. Is this the left? I think so. But, like, I just wanted someone smarter than me to confirm my own sadness. You know? But in bigger words, so that it, it, it felt weightier and more justified. No, it's Cockland, dude! I'm always drawn back here! And once Cockland is open, dude, all bets are off. You know what I mean. This is the bar thing where we're gonna talk to James at... Okay. Now, I think there's another maneuver I have to make up here. Maybe it's just the fucking right, though. 
Wait, where am I? I feel like I'm not in the right place at all. Oh. I did fuck up, dude. I should have taken a right immediately after the gas station. Shit. Okay. Back it up. Back it up. Dad, did you make a wrong turn? No, of course not. Shut up and listen to your iPod. Dude, we got 20 minutes. I think I fucked the dog, dude. We might need to load state and philosophy it up again. Shit. Okay, so we're, we're hanging a left here. No, this is Cockland, dude. Hold on. Hold the fucking phone. Hold the phone. So left of the gas station is the Cockland thing, dude. I can't get through here because Cockland. Wait, can I go this? Can I do this thing? But how do you want me to get to church? How do you want me to get there? Right? Because left, left is Cockland, right? Yes, left is Cockland, dude. I can't go that way, so... Man, was I doing the right thing and I fucking bitched out too quickly? Shite. We got 15 minutes, dude. No way. This is gonna be a save state. Though this text is not written in blue in the walkthrough. I don't think it's necessary to get the true ending or whatever. I still want to see the scene. You know? Yeah, I think we're gonna have to save state it. This is all good info to have, though. Shut up! What are you even stuck on? Shut up! Let's see. It looked like on the map that this was just inaccessible. Wow, dude, this fucking game is so cool. Oh, it was just a tunnel. It was just a tunnel. But we did certainly miss the one o'clock event. It is this way then, right? Big old fucking Yui. And then, oh right, it, we're gonna have to load state this anyway. I'm just get, I'm familiarizing myself with the path. This is so far away though, dude. I don't even know if I didn't fuck up if we're gonna be able to make this. This is so far away, this game is so big. Man, you really feel like this church is up on top of a little mountain thing. Remake Mazurna Falls. How about it? Look at all these cars, dude. So let's just see. I mean, we'll, we'll see if we can manage to get this, but I think we're gonna have to reload. Up, up. Locked. I recommend arriving no later than 12.30. The town meeting starts at 1 p.m. well before 1 p.m. and talk to the following characters. Father Barton, Samuel, and Cohen. Okay, so I mean, it looks like... This isn't... This isn't essential for, uh... Beating the game. Oh, no way do I look at this fucking- No, I- Yeah, there's no way. There's no way. Dude, oh, what is happening? Oh my god, my death perception. This is insane. Why does the music always cut out there, bro? Shite, shite, shite. Get out of here. We gotta go. We gotta hustle. We gotta hustle. No time to get caught on bookcases, baby. We gotta get out of here. 
Thanks for nothing, librarian. I did all the work myself. Here we go. Here we go. There's no way we're making it by 12.30, but we might be able to make it by 1 to catch the town meeting. You gotta get in the car, you fucking idiot. Okay, so... Left, left, left. Straight forever. Right. Yui. Right. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god, dude. It's so far. Oh my god, it's hard to control too, huh? Just cutting through people's yards, man. Who gives a shit? Who gives a shit? There's just simply no way. There's just simply no way, dude. Man, Matthew has so much confidence in his little beetle. Shit. Okay. 1020 now. We gotta skip this, dude, and just keep going. Having the craziest of deja vus right now. The craziest, dude. When I was young, I used to write down all of my deja vus every time they happened. I used to write down anything spooky that happened to me. Just to see if there's a pattern and you could attempt to understand it or whatever. I haven't done that in a fucking decade. But I loved doing it when I was young. Now that I'm a fucking crotchety old man. Like, yeah, man, yeah, life is just spooky sometimes. Gonna be close, dude. I don't know. I don't fucking know. I'm gonna save state it, though. Content with it. Yui. Yui. God, dude, it's so windy. It's to the right, right? Man, driving uphill in these conditions in a beetle, it's crazy. It's craziness, dude. Get out of your fucking car. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. What's up, bro? Who are you? You okay, Matthew? I'm fine. That's what I'm worried about. You know her. She's always put up a tough front. Oh, wait. This is Winona's dad. What's the other one? What's Emma's dad's name? The mayor? What's his name? Not gonna come to me. Keep an eye on her, will ya? Yes, sir. St. Peter's Church. Cool, dude. This is cool. Church vibes. Give me a hymn. Give me an organ. You a nun? I shall pray for you. The answer to any pro What the fuck? Can you believe this right now? Can you fucking believe this?
I remember sitting in church when I was a kid, and like I would hear chords like this, and I'd be like, oh, the fucking organist just sucks at playing the organ. What are these fucking horrible cluster chords? It's just like so much tasteless dissonance. I mean, I'm here for it. There's so many dark intervals, dude. I can't even handle this, dude. This is this isn't this is insane to me. But they decided to go with this chord progression. Like they wanted you to feel so negative. So much negative emotion being in this church. Oh my god, it's so hard to talk to people. Dr. Gruber, do you have a moment? Who are you? Matthew Williams. I came to Kathy's room earlier with Morgan. Oh yeah, you're that kid. I want to know what exactly happened in her room. And Kathy kicked a bucket? Or, uh, yeah. You don't have to sound so fucking weird while you say it. Kick the bucket, dude? You're a doctor. Jesus Christ. All I know is that Kathy was unresponsive. Then she suddenly started screaming and then just faded out, dude. The organist just cane him, baby. Then she suddenly started screaming and then, and then she just died. Well, to put it simply, the cause of Kathy's death was shock. You know that she was attacked by an animal? I think that Kathy was horribly traumatized last night. And something triggered a memory, that trauma. And the shock led to her death. She was in a safe hospital room, dude. It doesn't add up. What could have triggered it? That's the big question. Maybe a snowdrift fell off the roof just outside the window. Maybe seeing Morgan's ugly mug scared her to death. Or maybe all of the above. The only people inside that room were Hugh, Morgan, Father Barton, and James. Don't forget the nurse. Nurse? The head nurse. Don't recall her name. She's usually at the nurse's station. Samuel kind of sucks, dude. He's kind of a douche. Are we done? I'm a busy man, you know? Yeah, thank you. Busy man. Well, it's a terrible thing that happened in our peaceful little town. Well, it's a terrible thing that happened in our peaceful little town. I'm stuck in your pew, Doc. Doc, I'm stuck in your pew. But who else did, did you want me to talk to like three people or something like that? Father Barton, Samuel, and Cohen. Cohen's in the hat. I'll go there. And Father Barton's right behind me. Are really bears roaming around at this time of year? They usually hibernate by now, but. Occasionally, some fail to store enough food and must delay hibernating until they do. Those ones become agitated and dangerous. It's possible that they'd attack a person. If Em and Kathy were together, then maybe that means... No. Now bears don't see humans as a food source. All it did was wound Kathy, remember? If Emma was also attacked by the bear, I'm sure we would have found her nearby as well. Whether Emma and Kathy were together or not, we have to find that fucking bear, dude. Whether Emma and Kathy were together or not, we have to find that fucking bear, dude. Mother Barton. Matthew! What happened to Kathy was... Thank you. This has been a very painful test of faith. I doted on her, raised her as my own. I think it's been twelve years since I adopted her. How time flies. The first time I saw her, I swore to give her a happy life. Now she's gone. The Lord will judge whether I succeeded. And Emma is still missing, and but God works in mysterious ways. All I can do now is pray. What on earth was she thinking when she went into that forest? Maybe I didn't truly really know her at all. Have you made arrangements? Yes. 
Her funeral will be held at the cemetery tomorrow at 9.30 in the morning. And I'm making them too. Oh my god, no, dude! I'd like to, I'd like her to be laid to rest as soon as possible. Matthew, will you pray too for poor Kathy? Matthew, will you pray too for poor Kathy? Matthew, will you pray too for poor Kathy? I don't think that's fucking it, dude. Wait, is this Morgan? Is this Morgan? Oh, me. Oh, I can't get to you, dude. I don't know how to step up a step in this game. Is this Hudson? Who is this? I don't mention she's a curfew. That's right. She's angry. So she's not a kid anymore. Yeah, but she's my kid. To a parent, your kids are always children, no matter their age. No matter how much they complain. The meeting's about to start, you know. I'm sorry, but I can't let you attend. Why, bro? Matthew, the meeting's about to start. Sorry, but could you step outside? Are you fucking kidding me? I'm getting booted? So where am I? Wait, we got booted? <sighs> it's time for some peeking. Oh, cool. Grab the small box with circle and place it in front of the door. Sweet, dude. Heck yeah. We're such a little sneakster. Well, I kind of want to check downstairs too, but... Fucking awesome. Dude, this is so well made. Quiet down, everybody. It is good, the chase. Why are we talking about a murder here? It's a possibility. Samuel Gruber. Chief of medicine at Gruber Hospital. He treated Kathy when she was first brought in. Irreverent and cynical, his attitude has alienated many of the townspeople. The thing is, the choke marks on her neck weren't the direct cause of death. What was the cause then? To put it simply, she died of shock. But why did it happen later? If you were gonna die of fear, wouldn't it be during the fucking bear attack? It was gravely injured in hypothermic. Shock killed her due to her weakened state. That shock was caused by something that triggered a vivid flashback of the attack. The bear attack, you mean. Like I've said many times, we can't be certain it was a bear. By the wound, but the wounds were definitely caused by an animal. Everyone, the main points here are that Kathy was attacked by an animal in the forest. Now, now Emma, the mayor's daughter, is missing. We've decided to search Barrow's forest and we're asking for volunteers to help. Any able-bodied men who are willing, meet up at the forest cabin at 3.30 this afternoon. Mr. Mayor, would you like to, uh, add anything? Right now, my daughter could be suffering somewhere. Everyone. <laughs> I know. I know that Emma's alive. <laughs> oh my fucking god, Emma. <laughs> Oh, Bill, Keith, St Steve, shut the fuck You're supposed to be our lead. What, what are you... Keep it together. <clears throat> Listen up, everybody. According to Dr. Gruber, we know Kathy was attacked by an animal. Probably a bear. But, as horrible as this is to say, we can't rule out foul play. To be blunt, a killer could be on the loose. Keep your kids inside after dark. That is all. Damn, dude. A killer, though? Choke marks on her neck? Is that what Morgan meant by strange? Dude, this is spicy, man. 2 to 2.30, Haynes Diner. Stop by Haynes Diner for a quick bite to eat. Oh, there's blue shit here, dude. There's blue shit here that we gotta do. 
So we got to get to the diner by two. Okay. Shit. How do I leave? How do I leave? Huh, won't open. Where is this? Where does this go? Where am I going? Anywhere where that organ music cannot reach my ear holes. Nice. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. We gotta get to dude, these cars popping in. Where's my car? Where the fuck's my car, dude? Where did I put it? Okay. Oh, it just didn't fucking load. Okay. Man, long way back to town, huh? Shit. All right, here we go, bro. Man, talk about dense, man. If we have seven days of days like this... Dense game, dude. Wait, is it here? Yeah, it is here. Hold on. Shut up. Shut up. What did you hit, dude? Yeah, I know. I know. I know. I know. Sweet. It's gonna be much easier to get there once Cockland opens up, dude. This is just such a forward thinking and innovative video game. Like, why, why weren't people more interested in doing this kind of thing? And why is it still rare to do this kind of thing? We were just a kid driving around a town. Like, it's so weird that this isn't the standard. That, like, when a triple-A game comes out, I can't expect it to taste like this. Instead, I have to fucking beat people up all the time with probably a superhero. That's the expectation nowadays. It's so fucking stupid. I think I'm here a little early, honestly. Should have talked to that old guy out front. This is not the diner song from last session, I do believe. You seem busy. Oh my god, leaning into the blues note, dude! Oh my goodness gracious. That's stinky bass, dude. That is a stinky bass sound. This is insanity to me. Not as much as usual. The rain hangs. Waitress at the local diner. A straight shooter. She's blunt, you kind. She's dating Mel, but they often fight. Oddly, this may be what makes them work. I heard Emma's gone missing. Yeah, about that. Lorraine, do you or, um, did you know Kathy? 
The Jesus Freak? <laughs> Not really. She was always by herself. There's bound to be a connection between Kathy and Emma's disappearance. Are they friends? That's what I'm hoping to find out, but as far as I know, they weren't. Well, I could have been. Those two are pretty alike. In what way? You can never tell what either of them was thinking. True. Dude, Mel! What's eating you? You look pissed. Mel Aston, 18, always young, the only child of Dennis, the town's most influential man, a notorious delinquent. Quick to anger, he's a rebel, without a cause, or a brain. It's nothing! Don't nag me like some old crone, Lorraine. Finish up here and let's go drinking. Already. I can't. My dad's not here today. Gotta take care of the place by myself. It's your diner. Just close early. What's the big deal? I told you already. I can't. You wanna talk? Let's talk here. Ugh. I can't catch a break. Everyone's on my case today. What happened? I got interrogated by that fat ass. He thinks I had something to do with Emma. Who, Morgan? Yeah, Jabba the Sheriff. Hey, so what if it was the last person? So what if I was the last person to see Emma? Wait, where did you see her? Huh? I said, where did you see Emma? Why should I tell you, you prick? I saw Emma last night, too. I want to know where she went afterward. Oh, cry me a fucking river, you fucking idiot. So your squeeze ran off, so what? I'm interested too. Just what were you doing with Emma last night, huh? Come on, it's not like that. I saw her for two seconds. Where? Ugh. It was on Cockland Peaks. She was on my Cockland, do you understand? Nothing weird. It was where you come out of the tunnel, her tunnel. I came out of her tunnel. With my Cockland, do you understand? To Auckland? Not really. Is this something about going to church? The church? Was she alone? Hey, up yours, dude. I already got interrogated once a day. I'm not going through it a second time. Get the fuck out of here, you losers. Wait, you're leaving? I'm sure as hell not staying here. One of my favorite characters so far. Ugh, what a dick. Are you two going out? Yeah, well, hell's more of a diamond in the rough. What's that mean? What's that mean? I don't give a shit. Coffee. We'll take a beer. Welcome. What can I get you? Coffee, baby. You want coffee, huh? I know how you like it. Nice and strong. Here you go. I fucking love this video game. I love it. The characters are so well written. This translation is amazing. Resident Evil, you killed it. You killed it. Maybe Emma was going to church to see Kathy? What I was thinking. But that's it. The two of them were probably together then. The town's already on edge. I wonder if there'll there will another protest at Aston Farm today. Protest? What protest? You know, the farm workers are protesting because Mr. Aston won't repair the company housing. Mr. Aston? As in Mel's father? Yeah, hey, come to think of it, the company housing is at the top of Cockland Peaks. Guess it makes sense that Mel would be out there totally. Oh, I think I've heard about this. Aren't all the houses, like, really run down? Yeah, they're falling the fuck apart. That's why there's a protest. Honestly, Mr. Ashton should just do the decent thing and repair them. Ain't like he's hurting for cash. You look by D? What can I get you? Nothing. I'm gonna leave. Thanks for that weird piece of music, baby. Right, what are we doing now, dude? It's a fun scene. This is fun, dude. Um. We'll talk about Aston Farm. 
Go ahead, it's on Matthew. You have an unlimited wallet. 2.30 to 2.50 to get to the Barrows Forest. Time to check up on the bear hunt. Talk to Morgan, and he'll tell you. Okay, we're not going to read anymore. We got to get to Barrows Forest. I really wish the music didn't just fucking cut out all of the time. What time does that other piece of music kick in? The one that goes... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Man, so much slowdown in town. So worth it, though. That's like a nice, densely populated area of the map with like a fuck ton of stuff going on. Makes it feel like a, a cultural hub of the city. Oh, no. Okay. Okay, so we will check the map. And I think the forest is on the far western side, right? Okay, so it's directly behind me. I, it's gotta be this. It's gotta be this. Barrow's Forest. Why don't we save? There it is. Um, okay. So, about face, left, right. Left, right. I don't give a shit. I'm checking it again. Man, I cannot even imagine how they anticipated a player getting to all of this shit, man. Like, it's hard to do with a fucking guide up to get to everything on time. God forbid you miss the map like I missed the map the first time. You know? Pretty big ask. Okay, what am I doing? Left, right, and then carry on to the northwest. Man, did like, how did Japan feel about this game in the 90s? Like, I know Twin Peaks itself was pretty fucking big in America in the 90s, but like, man, did, how many people in Japan gave a shit about David Lynch's weird meta soap opera, you know? Like, how, how global of an event was Twin Peaks? We made it. We made it. We might be early, even. It's all, dude. I'm gonna go in, Evan. You heard you born on an immunary wild bear in there, dude. What the fuck are you thinking, dude? Um, what time? 2.30, maybe. Yeah, we got some, we got some time. Yeah, 2.30, we'll wait. And how nice is this, man? That, that gentle, that gentle babbling of the water. Like, the scene is so good, dude. This game is so well made. These models are so good. It's so cozy. Take this opportunity to check something people trying to hang out and shit dude all I want to do is play this fucking game people can get fucking lost Man, imagine if you were a cop that had to wear a tie. One of the least functional articles of clothing I think ever invented.
Oh, man. I thought I'd wait out here just in case you need to, like, load the scene at 2.30 or something. This, this game has been pretty good about that not being the case. Like, the event is the event. And if you're there, someone's gonna walk up and trigger the thing. So I think it's five seconds for every one second. Barrow's forced. It's at least what I was counting in my head there. Y'all have a uh, seemingly perfect internal clock because of that Majora's Mask minigame too. With the postman. Still not letting you in. Oh wait, what the fuck? Did you not tell me to come to the forest at 2.30? A tooth hurty? Talk to Morgan. Wait. Morgan's not here, dude. He's not here, dude. This is- this- wait, hold on. This is an event that I can't mess. So I'm gonna save state it. In case I have to be somewhere else. Maybe I'll save state it in another slot. Just in case, like, if, it, if it's Morgan, maybe I have to fucking... Be at the police station or whatever. Where's Morgan, dude? I'm at Barrow's Forest. I'm there! Hold on. Hold on. What does the thing say? What does the thing say? What does the thing say? 2.30 to 2.50. Barrow's Forest. Talk to Morgan. Morgan's not here, dude. I don't know what you want from me. I feel like I'm being lied to. I feel like I'm being lied to. I feel like I'm being lied to. Wait. Wait! That's our boy! That's gotta be our boy! God, this game is so fucking Majora's Masky. Get over here, boy. Just walk on right through that tree. Don't you mind that tree even for a second. God, this is so cool, dude. This game is so amazing. Morgan, I ran into Mel. He was complaining about you. Said you treated him like a criminal. Because he is. This morning wasn't our first meeting. According to Mel, Emma said she was going to the church? Hmm, that makes it all the more likely Emma and Kathy were together last night. You think Mel was with them too? I wonder. Mel's definitely hiding something. Does he have an alibi for last night? He says he was, uh, at the bar. The bar? Club Wolves? He was real reluctant to admit he was there, even when his freedom depended on it. But I don't think he's lying, and for now, his alibi holds up. Who's his alibi? No, 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 get the fuck back here. Why are you walking? We're talking here, bro. What's this about choke marks on Kathy's neck? Ugh. Is that what you meant by strange earlier? Yeah. Is there a murder on the loose? Not sure yet. According to Dr. Gruber, the choking couldn't have directly led to her death. But it's true. She definitely had bruising on her neck. Yeah, but... I don't have any proof this was an attempted murder. Don't go stirring people up. I know, but... Okay, fine. Dude, we're talking! Did you talk to Cohen? Yeah, I asked him about when he found Kathy. And? I thought he doesn't think Kathy was alone that night. Maybe Emma was there too? It's possible Emma and Kathy were there together. Set a fire, which attracted the bear. And it attacked them. As good as a theory as any. If Emma wasn't found, that's the problem. Emma going missing makes the whole case a head-scratcher. Dude. Some of the townsfolk are going to search the whole forest. If it was really a bear that mauled Kathy, then we need to take care of the problem. Shoot that fucker right in the jugular. Shoot that fucker right in the jugular. Okay, I think that's all we had to do was talk to Morgan there. Look at his face. Oh my fucking... You have to go to Mel's house now.
No, there's more. There's more? Where's Mel's house? Is it right across from Aston Farm? Let's see if Morgan stops here. He's supposed to say that no, I can't come on the bear hunt. Matthew, the forest is off limits. Are you searching it now? Yeah. Let me join the search. I can't do that. The bear might be around. I can't let a kid endanger himself like that. Matthew, I know how you feel, but leave this to us. Matthew, I know how you feel, but leave this to us. Are you a fucking prick? Okay, to Mel's house now. I don't think we know where that is. I'll go to where we saw the Aston farm sign. Was it a farm? Um, let's see if we can maybe discern on the map where that might be located. Here. Oh my god. We just need to go very south. It's going south, baby. Man, what is the name of the composer who did Twin Peaks? Oh my god, hold on, what's his name? He has like a super Italian name. Oh my god, I don't remember. There's a legendary video of him on YouTube explaining the main, like, like, Lara's theme. I think it plays during the ending credits sequence. And it starts off with, like, this really creepy chord progression, and then it, like, climaxes similarly to, like, doo -doo 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 -doo. Um, there is this amazing video on YouTube of him describing that piece of music. And then he kind of, like, falls into, um, an explanation of a memory where like him and David Lynch were sitting in a room like working on the theme and like just the way in which what's his name it's like Anthony Balamente or something like that um or yeah maybe he's Spanish not Italian um over oh, right fucking there the way he's describing this experience with David Lynch and the way in which he like actually just reenacts that memory it's so Fucking hilarious. You have to find that video. It's so funny to me, dude. He's like, yes, yes, that's very good. And then David would tell me to do this one thing, and I was like, oh, I feel that. Just keep building it. Just keep building it. And then I go, it, it's, um, it's so amazing. I can't even explain it to you. It's one of my favorite videos on the internet. Look it up. Look it up. Mr. President, please listen to us. You think they can keep treating us like dirt? We demand repairs. He's gonna sound like the Monopoly guy, right? President Aston won't listen to a word we say. Damn it, I had no idea he was so cold-hearted. Are the houses really in such bad shape? We have no running water half the time, and the power goes out almost every day. The place is over 30 years old. It needs to be rebuilt from scratch. Occasional maintenance won't cut it anymore. Mr. President, we demand thorough repairs. It's bald. Dennis Aston, 57. President and CEO of Aston Enterprises and owner of Aston Farm. As the farm is the backbone of the local economy, he's the most powerful man in town. He's also the father of Matthew's classmate, Mel. Oh no, he can't be the fucking Monopoly man. Does he actually have some like crazy spittle coming out of his mouth? Out of the corner of his fucking mouth there? What is that? He looks fucking deranged. Enough of this. I'm always shilling out to fix that place. Mr. President, that's the problem. The place needs to be rebuilt from the ground up. Tear it down, build it up. Tear it down, build it up. I've worked for you for decades. Don't that mean anything to you? Rebuilding on that land is too complicated. Why? Half the time we have no lights at night. And there's a killer on the loose now. It's no place for people to live. 
As I said, it's more complicated than you think. But I'll consider it. Now please leave. You will? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'll do it. Yeah. Thank you. He's not considering shit. Are you an idiot? Damned freeloaders. What? I take it you have something to complain about, too. I don't want to hear it. Be gone, worm. Be gone. Okay, so he's a douche. Sneak into Mel's room? What? Hmm. You want something with me? Yeah, dog. Sop. What do you want? Uh, is Mel home? Mel? I don't know where he is, the fucking delinquent. His room's around the side. Look for him yourself. Why are you still here? I'm a busy fucking man. Busy fixing the company housing, I hope. None of your damn business. I'm going back inside to master. If you want Mel, check his room. But don't disturb me again, because I'll be master. What? Spit it out, I'm busy. What? Spit it out, I'm busy. Honestly. What? What now? Around the side, you say? Around the side, you say? Oh, I gotta go down. It's a staircase down. This is so cool. What a cool room for an 18-year-old. You can sneak out whenever the fuck you want to, dude. Mel's room. Walk on in. Who gives a shit? Whoa, dude. This room sucks. No, wait. This room's amazing. Neglect my gut instinct. This is amazing. Wait, what am I doing here? What am I doing here? What am I doing here? Pick up the note on the table which reads 9 p.m. motel. Then the phone will ring and you hear Mel come and quickly hide in the closet. Oh, fuck! Note on the table and then hide in the closet. Is this the closet here? A walk in closet. Pretty spacious. Hmm? What's this? Oh no, why'd you put me on the far side of the table, dude? 9 p.m. Motel. Why does Mel need a room at the motel? To clap some cheeks, bro. He's clapping cheeks. Uh huh? A motorcycle! Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, dude. Shut, shut up, shut up. It smell. Oh, this is bad, I gotta hide. No, I'm just gonna walk into the, oh my fucking God, dude. Get in there, dude, get in there. I think I can hide in here. Shit, dude. This game is so cool, dude. This is so cool and ahead of its time. I can't even. I can't even with this shit. This is amazing. Look at that babe on a motorcycle. Mel's so cool, dude. Huh. I know. I know. I've dealt with the Emma problem, and I've got it with me. So stop worrying about it. Uh-huh. Yeah, 9 p.m. tomorrow. I heard you the first time. I'll meet you at the cemetery then. All right, all right. Keep my word. Let's just talk then. Ugh, what a whiny prick. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Hey, Mel, come here. Why? Don't make me repeat myself, you fucking scum child dick fart. Ah, shove it, you old fart. He said fart too. Get in here this instant. Fine, 
Fine. That was close, dude. That was close. Shite. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. Unless my lord and savior, Resident Evie, says otherwise. Five PM farm workers lodgings. Drive up Cockland Peak and you'll see Mel lurking around the farm workers lodging. Matthew will ask him what he's up to. Um drive up Cockland Peak and you'll see Mel of farm workers lodgings. I don't think we know where that is, or we haven't been there before. The lodgings themselves. Are they on the map? Oh it's these. No, that's the Cohen's shit. Oh, was it this over here? Whoa, that's so far away from your place of work! What time is it? We gotta get there by 5 p.m. apparently. I'd say we need at least an hour to get over there. Plenty of time! Man, it feels good in this game to have time on your hands, you know? God, this game is so dense. Like, think about last time we played. And how we got literally zero of this. Literally zero of it. But like, it's so, like, man, Majora's Mask is my favorite video game ever made. I think it's perfection. Um. I love the idea of characters having their own fucking lives. I love it so much. Okay, this is Cockland. Dude, like, just the idea of, like, last time we played... That, like, while me as Matthew was driving around like a lunatic and, like, running into trees and shit... Um... This is not right. But, like, all of this was still happening. I love that idea so, 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 so much. So we want to take a left and go through town. Man, it just makes video games feel less like it's just code in a script on a computer. You know what I mean? Like, even, like, of course, like, that meeting at the church where everybody, like, congregated. Like, when that time passed during my experience playing the game, of course, like, the game didn't render that, like, scene in the background or whatever, but there is something... Wait, am I now going the wrong way? This is right. Oh, this is the long. No, this is the right way. Okay. Um. But man, there's still something nice, like in your own head cannon, like that. That is like on the opposite side of town from where you are transpiring at that moment. And those people are gonna have that experience, and you're not. And then they're gonna get up, and they're gonna go do something else. And like maybe you'll cross cr cross paths thereafter, and like they'll just have new information in your head, but you won't. Like, there's something so real and, I don't know, to me, like, one of the biggest issues with video games as a medium is you need to, you need to convince your player that you're not playing a, a, a script, you know? You want your player to feel like they're in control of the joy of the thing. You feel like your actions have consequences in the world. Where am I? Okay, so we just want to take a left when it comes to the church sign. So the fact that it feels like the world spins on with or without your participation makes me as a player, I'm passing you, sorry, even though it's incredibly dangerous given the <laughs> conditions of the road, um, 
I don't know, man. It just it 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 makes me feel like if I'm like fucking up or if I'm doing well or if I'm like aligned with the I guess just the general understanding of the public and the rest of it, like that's on me to like get it done. And that makes me want to play your game. It's like it's kind of like FOMO, man. Like you don't want to miss out. But I gotta be here five o'clock, I think. Five o'clock. Farm workers lodgings, five p.m. Cool. So we're looking for Mel at five p.m. Then I wait five thirty. I gotta get to fucking Captain Nas. Shite. Yeah, I don't know. It just goes. It goes such a fucking long way with me, man. It really, really does. It's like bold to do in in video games, you know? Because like you don't want your character or your player to feel like your characters are getting locked out of certain things or um, are missing content. Like, why would you make content that is missable by your player? Because it's realistic. <laughs> That's how we are as people. You can only do one thing at a time, and if you're not at the point of interest, you're not gonna get that shit. You're not gonna get that experience. So like, peak game design is like having that preserved, but like just having an, like numerous different ways to get pivotal information. What's that one thing floating in the air over there? Do you see that? Like right in the middle of the screen? What is that? Yeah, like, you have characters living their lives and such, um, but, like, if there's a necessary nugget of information that you need to progress the story or to keep, to have you as the player up to date on the story itself and, like, where the characters are and, and, and such, um, you just provide multiple creative ways of gaining the information. You know, it's like D&D &D stuff. That's, like, the job of a DM is to be like, well, okay, what if your players don't do that? Well then, like, you need to, as gracefully as you can, introduce another way, a more flexible way, to get your players the same information that they need to progress forward in the story without it feeling like, uh, no, a sorcerer pops out of nowhere and transports you to where you have to go. You just gotta do it gracefully. You just gotta do it gracefully, dude. And... As far as I know, this game is not doing it very gracefully. You, you just kind of have to be at the events. Otherwise, you actually don't get a good ending. Which is crazy. And how difficult it is to get to these events, you know. Alright, 20 minutes. Dude, look how cool, like, the sky is actually darkening. God, this is so fucking cool. This is so cozy, man. Like, even look at the snow effect. Like, how effective that is for the PS1. There he is. There's the fucking douchebag. Let's go. Bro. The hell do you want? You stalking me or something? This is Majora's Mask stuff. You have to wait for them to get to their position. To, like, actually have the conversation with them. What is he doing here, dude? Like, he obviously doesn't have a great relationship with his dad. So, like... I mean, I can't imagine he cares about the plight of the residents. But like, man, maybe he does. Like, maybe that's a, like a cool little thing about his his character. Like, he hates his dad so much that he sees an opposing force to his father's influence and power and such in the protesters, and he like you know decides to investigate their plight a little bit, and then maybe like empathizes with them a little bit or something. Okay, yeah, let's wait till five.
Boom, dude. Nighttime, baby. What the hell do you want? You stalking me or something? What do I gotta do? Wait, M Dennis is mooching around there too? Bitching about his employees? Oh, wait. Is that all I get? Is that all I get from our boy? Is what the hell do you want? Apparently Dennis is up here too. Am I crazy? What the fuck's that car doing up there, dude? Oh my god. Freaky. We'll look for Dennis and then we'll probably reload the save state because we gotta drive down to... Nazis, man. This shit was written in blue, though. So, like, if Dennis is up here... We gotta find him. And speak with him. Ah! Fuck, is he... Oh, wait, he's back there. It's so weird, dude. What are you doing, man? So freaky. All they do is bitch and moan a disgraceful lack of respect towards their employer. All they do is bitch and moan. But I needed that? Mel? What are you doing here? What? None of your damn business. Looks like your dad can't decide whether to repair this place. I don't give a hot fart what my old man does. What are you what are you doing here anyway? Wait, never mind. I don't give a shit. Hmm. After the Nas thing though. Oh, this is so tight, dude. Oh my god. Shit, dude. I need to be at Nas's by 5.30. I mean, let's continue to hang out for a little bit and see if Dennis also stands still and has something else to say. But, like, there's just no way I can do this, get to Nas's. Like, because, like, how far is Nas's from here, dude? Here. That's fucking, like, at least 20 minutes of driving. He does stop, dude. Okay. He doesn't say anything new, though. Okay, ma Let's see. Let's see. We'll get in our car and go. Sheesh. So like, yeah, like we gotta get to Nas's apparently at 5.30 and then we have another thing we have to do at 6. There's just no fucking way, dude. Oh no, especially if I'm running into trees. I mean, I'll probably get the Nas's at like 6. I don't know, dude. This will honestly probably give us just a couple of more minutes now that we know that we don't have to necessarily wait for Dennis to, like, stop walking. Man, good thing we're safe, Staten, huh? Where is he? Where the fuck is he? Shite. Shite. Oh, oh. There he is. Oh, he's still in the back. Ow. 
Does losing your hair turn you into a douche? It's so weird to me, dude. Like a natural biological process would dress somebody out that much. Yeah, we clean now, baby. I don't know what the fuck that little thing was about, but... That's two. Two game-breaking glitches. Okay. PS1 emulation of a game that never came to the West. Probably tampered with by numerous individuals. Remove the code. Almost got us again, bro. Right, there's no way we're making it by 5.30 exactly, but hopefully that timing is a little loosey-goosey. There's also a couple of more minutes that we could have gotten. Um, what is that? The hotel? I don't think I was aware of that until the big neon, si neon sign kind of fucking... Oh, no! Okay, yeah, I guess we'll keep going this way. When does the nighttime piece of music kick in? The one with the cool, like, Animal Crossing instrument? Whatever that is. Okay, 5.30 now. Hopefully everything is okay. And what do we gotta do to get gasoline? I... Which corner is my home on? This one here? Oh, there he is. Oh, he's leaving, dude. Hold on. Maybe I did miss it. Oh no, he's just standing there. Matthew, there really was a bear in the forest. We found some huge paw prints. Can't wait for tomorrow. Are you going to do another search? Yeah, tomorrow, but no one suggested we go in with fewer people this time. He says it's best to use a small team when tracking a bear. What time are you going in? 7 a.m. sharp. We're meeting up at the forest entrance. Will you take me along? Wish I could get over Morgan would wring my fucking neck. Please, dude, this is this is important to me. Hey, if it was up to me, I would. Take it up with Morgan. Oh, excuse me, sir. It's not like we're having a fucking conversation. What a psycho! Please, dude, this is important to me. Hey, where, where, where I would, but. All right. Haynes Diner, and then I gotta get to the hospital by 6 p.m. Oh my god, where's the diner? Where's the diner? Haynes Diner. Here it is. Slam and saucy 1950 song. Let's go. Wait, what am I doing here? Some of the farm workers were just here. Are they talking about the repairs? Should have heard them. They were going on and on about Mr. Aston. It's true. The place is worn down, though. Really should rebuild it. They said there's some reason why they can't. What reason? Didn't say, but it doesn't seem to be about money. Don't get me started about Mel. He's such a fucking jerk. Wrong. Mel's been such a killjoy today. All he does is bitch and moan. Being questioned by Morgan probably set him off. Who knows? You like a bite to eat? What can I get you? Wait, what? That wasn't interesting. All right, we gotta get to the hospital. And then the sheriff's department, Cohen's Lodge, and then the bar, dude. Shit, we got a lot to do. All right, Groover Hospital is where we're going now.
Good stuff. This game is so cool, dude. I'm gonna keep saying it. You see that guy? Did you see that guy? And everything's slower in town, dude. Yep, that's where I parked my car, dudes. Y'all can get bent. Okay, so... Ouch. We're going to the hospital, which is... Don't I? Here? Kind of close. We just want to take an immediate right. Right, right, right. Left. Okay. Right? Right. Left. Is this the left? The cemetery. No, the cemetery is right by the hospital. I remember making the point that that is mighty convenient to have the cemetery right next to the hospital. I can lay the dying patients down in their graves already. You know? Oh, I gotta sneeze. Who, baby? <coughs> oh, fuck. What are we doing here? Chat to Samuel, and you'll talk about shit. Then chat to James. And chat to head nurse. Okay, Samuel James Head Nurse. Oh, we haven't met the smoker yet in this playthrough. I forget her name. The crazy one? The one who's faking her injury? Oh, how is he not in his office? Where is he? Who is this? I want to ask you about the bruising on Kathy's neck. Bruising? Yes, bruising. And she's been choked? What about it? It wasn't the cause of death, you know. True, but it's just foul play. Oh, I get it. You're saying someone tried to kill Kathy that night. Morgan doesn't seem to be taking that theory very seriously. Maybe in New York, but this is a small rural town. The kind of thing's unthinkable here. Or so Morgan would say. You ask me, though. Someone definitely choked Kathy. From the bruises, can you determine what time the choking occurred? Within 24 hours of the time she was discovered. Can't say for sure exactly when. Someone rang her neck good, though. Probably a man. How can you know? It's obvious from the size and shape of the bruising. You can tell the attacker's sex from the bruising, but not when they happened. It's just my intuition, but I'm right. I'm at the top of my field. Don't second guess me, you fucking loser. Ugh. Listen. Kathy was probably fooling around with the guy at a nice romantic campfire and things went south. Maybe he tried to feel her up or he started getting rough. He tells him to stop. He gets mad and chokes her. Then by coincidence, a bear attacks. Guy runs away and Kathy was left to fend for herself. Simple as that. I don't know about that. Kathy didn't seem the kind of girl to fool around at night. Like I've, heard, like I've never heard that one before. Everyone thinks their child is a perfect little angel. Until they OD on heroin and wind up in a body bag. Look, you uh, even know this girl? He's right. I don't know anything about Kathy. What kind of girl was she, anyway? Damn. It's Christmas, and I've had no time for fun. I bet you've been up to all kinds of mischief, haven't you? Not really. All right, look for James now. James has an office somewhere, maybe? Maybe?
Well, the head nurse is here. We may as well talk to her. Excuse me, is the head nurse here? Yes, that's me. How can I help you? Are you the one in the room with Kathy? I was the poor thing. Dr. Gruber said that Kathy died of shock caused by some sudden trigger. Trigger of a traumatic memory? That could be true. Do you have any idea what it could have been? It happened right when Father Barton entered. I leaned into Kathy and said, Kathy, don't worry, your father's here to see you. And then Kathy's eyes rolled towards him, and I thought that would lift her spirits. But just when I started to relax, Kathy screamed. Oh, I wonder if seeing him was too much of a relief for her. Tasteful game. And you know the rest. You fucking died. Where's Kathy's body? The morgue in the basement. They still need to finish her autopsy, so she'll be there until her funeral tomorrow. When is the funeral? I haven't heard yet. Can I help you? Oh, she's the one with the amazing face. Okay, we're looking for James. We're looking for James. I gotta stop getting caught on doors, dude. I gotta stop getting caught on fucking doors, dude. A swanky office, bro. Oh my god. Is this Gruber? Gruber, is this your fucking office? Where's James, dude? When is Kathy's funeral gonna be held? Her funeral. That's up to Barton to decide. I've already released the body. I see. I know how you feel, but even you could wind up an accomplished man one day like me. What a fucking loser, dude. There's no such thing as being an accomplished man. No such thing. There's just those content with the state of things and those not. Hold him. Wait. Right? That's our teacher. Matthew? Miss Holden, what? Why are you here? What, the girl can't visit her sick granny? Wait, granny? No, she's my grandmother. Oh. You in the same glass as Emma? You know Emma? Emma used to keep her company. She was such a nice girl. She's not dead, by the way. Yeah, he's right. I don't know yet. True. Life is unpredictable. <laughs> Did Emma visit often? Emma loved hearing Granny's stories. What stories? Stories about the town's old days. Ones you can't tell in polite company. Hmm. She's not kidding. Mm, okay then. Come visit me and maybe I'll share them. There she goes again. What do I gotta do in here? What needs to be done in here? Okay. Who would have thought? Talk to the characters. Come to visit me. And I hope you brought what I asked for. Come to visit me. I hope you brought what I asked for. I think it's just cigarettes is what she wants. Miss Holden, do you uh, know what kind of girl Kathy was? Well, we spoke often enough, but I don't really know. She didn't seem like a very cheerful girl. According to Father Barton, she was introverted and didn't have many friends. It sounds like her. Now that I think about it, she and Emma were alike. In what way? Maybe this isn't appropriate for a teacher to say, but they were impossible to read. Isn't there anyone who knew Kathy well? Her homeroom teacher might know more. Who's that? Holly. She's usually in the main office after 2 p.m. Got it. Don't pay too much attention to what Granny says. She mouths off to everyone. At everyone to hide how shy she really is. Sounds like me. Okay, we still gotta find James real quick. Why don't we, uh... Say... Baby. 
Okay. Um, where could he be? Do we think? I don't know if we have to talk to James. Um. But the guide says to. I don't want to fuck this up, but I, like, I don't know. Where is he? Can I help you? Yeah, where's James? Does it say? Does it say where he is? This he'll probably be in his office, but I don't know what the fuck that means, dude. Where the fuck's his office? Maybe downstairs? I mean, this looks kind of both office-y and functional-y. You think it's fun being a doctor for a town of this size? You know, if there's only 2,000 people that live in this town, you know, Gruber and James have seen the genitals of every single member of the community. For sure. I suppose that's not exactly fun. Like, is it is it better to, like, look after people that you know and care about every day? Or is it better for you not to get, like, emotionally involved? Wait. What was that? Because, like, you know, if you're just, like, an ER doctor, then, like, you're just getting a constant rotation of faces. Like, you never, like, necessarily forge a bond with them. Because, like, you're just, like, trying to treat whatever it is that presently ails them. And, like, that they're considering an emergency. So they're probably... It's just a revolving door of... All walks of life. And then implicit within that premise is a certain emotional disconnection. You know? It's like you don't you don't know the person. It's just like if they come in and they've like blown up their finger with the firework or whatever. You don't give a shit about the person necessarily. You're just you're worried about the injury. That person is just a fucking injury. You fix the injury. But like if you were Gruber or James, um, like, you would have, like, I would imagine a pretty big interest in them as people. Where is James's office, dude? Shut up. God. We'll probably load state this, I would imagine. Unless this is it. What's the time on the next thing we have to do? Uh, doesn't really say, dude. Okay, maybe it's gotta be upstairs then. But like, we're killing so much time, maybe we should just, you know, this is gonna be a useless save anyway. Uh, I did exhaust these dialogues, I believe. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was Kathy's room there.
Nothing. Nothing. There either. And across across the hall from Uber kind of makes sense though. Nothing. Ooh, I like this idea. I like this idea. We'll find him. Just a locker room. Hate this idea. I hate it. Okay, maybe we'll skip talking to uh, James. I don't know where he is. I don't know where the fuck he is, dude. And we got places to be, so fuck it, I say. Well, he doesn't. Sh There's not two desks in here, right? Stop! Groobs. Just groobs, dude. <sighs> Damn, dude. I don't know where James is. I don't know where he is. I feel like we checked every door up here. There he is. Wait, there he is. There he is. Where are you going? Oh, Kathy's cause of death. Wasn't it shock? Officially, but I have doubts. Not all that preposterous. Don't you have memories that trigger a visceral reaction? Something vivid that stuck with you for years? Sure, but like you just said, they have to be triggered. Kathy was mauled by a bear. One in that hospital room could have reminded her of that. Something strong? Something enough to induce trauma? Yeah, but what? Dude, that's what I'm fucking saying. Open your ears. Only Kathy knows. You busy right now? Not really. You want to ask me something about Emma? Nothing exists. Even if something did exist, it could not be understood. Even if it could be understood, that knowledge could not be communicated to others. This was written in a book. I think Emma was reading. Quite the little detective. Don't mock me, you fucking asshole. You offered your help, right? All right, all right. It's a quote from Gorgias, an ancient philosopher. I think it expresses Emma's mental state quite well. It's sad. It sounds like being all alone, trapped in your own world, unable to escape. There was a side of Emma you never knew. But then again, I think Emma's taken a step into territory I doubt most people could understand. Ever been to the bar? Club Wolves? Dude, I'm underage. Didn't stop Emma from going. She went there often. What? Club Wolves is where I met Emma in the first place. It seems she caused some trouble there, though. She earned quite the reputation for herself. I don't believe it. You only knew one side of her. You might see the other side if you go to the bar. Could be the key to finding her. I'm off home now. The hospital's about to close up anyway. You're telling me the hospital closes. That's crazy. Okay, now we gotta get to the uh, police station, then Cohen's Lodge, and then Bar Wolves. Bar Wolves. What time is it? Do I have to stop playing? I really should. I really should. Maybe I'll uh, get to the police station and then save there. Maybe we'll do the uh, police station, then Cohen's, and then we'll save at the bar. I think that's the play. There we go, there's the Animal Crossing stuff. Okay, so... I think the sheriff's is kind of nearby. Here. So we want to turn around, hang a left, and a right, and a left, and a right. 
Left, right, left, right. Is that the idea? Left. Right. Left. Wish. What am I doing here? What am I doing here? What am I doing here? Got to Barton. What's up, dude? Were Kathy and Emma close? I wouldn't know. Kathy was introverted and didn't have many friends. Emma was headed to the church yesterday. When? Around 10 p.m., I think. None of my parishioner years came to the church that late. I think they might have come to see Kathy? I see. And maybe after that they went to the forest together. Still, I can't quite believe it. Kathy knew she was not allowed out after the dark. She must have snuck out without my knowledge. I wish more young people were like you. I wish more young people were like you. Barton talked to Morgan. Okay, we're gonna talk to Morgan now. Hudson just sitting here? I saw him. Come in. I'll do it. Bro, saw, dude. How'd the foresters go? Well, there's a bear in there for sure, and no doubt it's the same one who attacked Kathy. What about Emma? No leads yet. Seriously? Listen, Matthew, there's no proof Emma and Kathy were together that night. It might be totally unrelated. Just think positively. I heard from my uncle that you're going back into the forest tomorrow morning. Damn it, Nas. It was supposed to be a secret. Can't you take me with you? Out of the question. We'll be carrying guns, dude. You know how to use a gun? My uncle taught me. What the? Nas, you gun nut. Look, even if I know how to... Even if you know how to use a gun, we're talking about a ferocious bear here. Just because Nas taught you how to pull the trigger doesn't make you a big game hunter. We have to sort this bear issue out first. We have to sort this bear issue out first. How about you, homie? How are you feeling? You know that place? It was curfew when it's after door. You know that it was curfew at the after door. Nozzle, my boy. Did Morgan let you join the bear hunt? Nah. He said that just because you taught me how to use a gun doesn't mean... What? He, uh, is he saying my marksmanship isn't good enough? I could shoot blindfolded better than him. Fucking twat bag. Fuck that guy. Wait, sorry. I didn't mean to say that out loud. That does it, Matthew. Come to the forest tomorrow. We'll nab the bear and make Morgan eat his words. Uh, I don't think Morgan will let me. Leave it to me. I'll think of something. Just come to the forest at 7 a.m. tomorrow. I'll make sure to wake up bright and early. Dude, I'm not sleeping. Those bear prints were huge, dude. Man, like, fucking enormous. I'm sure it's a big, ferocious brute. Can't wait for it tomorrow. I'll put it out of its misery. Pow! 
I like Nas's gumption. Quite a bit. Alright, next we're going to Cohen's, I believe. Go and chat to Cohen. And we have to do this. This is so crazy, dude. These triggers are out of control. Okay, so... How the fuck do we get to the lodge from here? This thing, right? Man, they really should just have a kink, 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 kink. It should, like, the cur cursors should just bounce between each of them. Okay, so we're gonna... Left, right, left. Left, right. Okay. Left, right, left. Left, right, left. Where am I? Where am I? Don't hit the house. Left, right. I'm afraid we're gonna have to get to the bar by 8 p.m. Left. Right. I mean, if this Cohen thing doesn't take very long, getting to the bar shouldn't be too brutal. Shut up, you're fine. He's home. He's home, dude. Up, up. Hi, Matthew. What's up? There really was a bear in the forest. We're going to hunt it tomorrow at 7 a.m. Nas is real eager to come. There really was a bear in the forest. We're going to hunt it tomorrow at 7 a.m. Nas is really. Wait, is that it? He just said one line to me. Go and chat to Cohen. He won't say much. Just confirms the... Jesus Christ. Alright. We gotta go to the bar. What time is it? Okay, I gotta stop. See you later, Matthew. See you later, Matthew. It is unfortunate to call it a day here, yeah, but alas, this is not my vehicle. Yeah, I would I, I would have liked to have done a a full day, I think. And maybe we just will. Maybe we just fucking will. But we don't know where we're going. We don't know where we're going yet, bro. Uh, bar. Dude, I don't think I see it. Is it in the northeast corner there? I have to get here by 8 o'clock. Okay. Okay. Looks just through town. Where am I? I'll go straight, right, left, right, left, right. Straight, right, left, right, left, right. Wait. Oh man, wait, I don't have a lot of time. I don't have a lot of time to do this, bro. I don't have a lot of time to do this. Right? Right. I have to get there by 8 o'clock? Shit. Left. Right. Left. Right. Go through town. 
We'll make it. We'll make it. I have confidence. Okay, we need some gasoline, eh, bro? Yo, the slowdown. The Mazurna fall slowdown. I want a physical copy of this game. I would love to look at, like, an instruction manual or something. Okay, so it should be right fucking here, I believe. There it is, baby! We made it. This is where I park. Ooh, man, even the fucking neon light sign? Let's go. What do you mean it's locked? What do you mean it's locked? The scene will begin. As in, try going in and out of the bar a few times. Huh? I need to be in here, dude. Okay. Maybe, uh, maybe we wait. We wait. I think we're just gonna do all the events of the day. I think we will. I'll try again at 8 o'clock on the nose. I can't believe people don't talk about this game more. Is Father Barton? Matthew, the Lord has given me my orders, and it's to drink myself stupid tonight. These sinners, I have to save them before it's too late. I'm the only one who can. Matthew. Man, priests are like the only people in like current society that can dress like you're LARPing in like a medieval thing. And we just say, yeah, that's just, that's just how you dress for your job. They don't wear functional attire at all, you know? Bubbles. There's no reason for their collar to be st that stupid little thing. Wear like a white t-shirt and jeans. Matthew! Dude, good vibes. Over here! I love this so much, dude. Hello, detective, and how goes the investigation? Stop it with the de fucking detective thing, bro. You must understand, I'm quite impressed with what you gave have, have, have found so far. But how's it goes? How goes it? Not great. I'm sure you know more about what's going on than I do. You sound jealous. We're on the same side, Matthew. Big doubts, bro. <laughs> Why, uh, aren't you sitting at the bar? I'm much like Wolf, the owner, so I prefer to keep my distance. He knows everything about the town's nightlife, but he knows me already. That's where you come in. Maybe a fresh face can get some info out of him. Coro Lotto? Do you see that? Coro Lotto? Do you see that? Excuse me. The profile with just a limp cigarette in his mouth. Take a see. Let me guess. You want the hard stuff, right? Might be a nice bourbon. Uh, no. Wolf, 56. Owner of Club Wolves. Knows everything about the bar's regulars and an expert on the town's nightlife. You're new here, so I'll explain this real simple. You sit at the bar, you gotta order a drink. I'm bouncing a little bit. Then, uh, um, a, a glass of milk, please. Milk? <laughs> well, whatever. The 
This is Coralado, after all. Sometimes we drink milk here, bro. How much? Oh no. Drink that and get the fuck out of here. Milk drinking idiot. You know Emma Roland? Emma. You know her. She comes here often. Pretty girl on a dive like this. Turns more than a few heads. You know what I mean? Who am I? Did anything in specific happen? Once this guy was being real persistent, so Emma stabbed him in the thigh with a fork. It was fucking awesome. But of course, the guy was in the wrong, so nothing came of it. Emma really did that? Holy cow. After that, everyone started to think of her as this crazy bitch. Did she uh, always come here alone? Yeah, every time. Oh, except one time, when she did bring another girl with her. What did she look like? Why are you so curious about this? Look, I don't remember. Fine. Never mind then. Lead me to my milk. Maybe it was Kathy. Cool. Sweet. Now we gotta talk to... The man of the fucking hour. Let's go, bro. The hell? Didn't know a stiff like you came to this bar. Seems like you come here a lot. Do you be drinking? Shove it. Only drink milk here. Ah, shit. Damn it, Emma. Where the hell have you disappeared to? Yo, Mel. You look like you're celebrating something. <laughs> Remember this. A man always keeps his promises. <laughs> If you can't even do that, what well, good are you, eh? Back off. I said I got it already. The one I am a What? No one, I think. I think she's hiding somewhere just to get away from you, you stalker. What are you talking about? Don't you know? This guy brought him here plenty of times, trying to win her over. But you couldn't help you there, could you? It always ended in a shouting match. Go to hell. Just keep up your end of the day. What? You got something to say? Where's Emma? Huh? What did you... What did you do to her? Whatever's between me and Emma's none of your business. Now get out before I throw you out. Oh, we punching, baby. <laughs> Got him. Hold on. Sorry, we gotta do it, just in case. You little bastard. Here we go, dude. What's the attack button? Oh my god, I got kicked in the fucking face. It turned into a fucking fighting game. What is this, dude? I don't even know the attack button. Oh, it's kick. Oh, dick kick. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. Fuck yeah. How do you like your shins being fucked like this, dude? Did Emma ever fuck your shins like this? Oh, get fucked, you fucking idiot. While you're down there. Shin kick. Good duck, though. That was fucking impressive. Sometimes you're good, bro. What is this? This is so weird, dude. Oh, dude, he's good, man. Oh, get knocked the fuck out, Mel! Dude, Matthew's kicking his ass. This is so cool. This is so cool, dude. And Wolf's just like, he's fucking idiots. We'll just let him go this time. The combos, dude. The knockout. Oof, oh, my God. Shin kick for the win. Shin kick for the win. Get fucked, you fucking idiot. Shit, I don't got time to play with you. Get this fucking ass, dude. Talk to Wolf. That's what it says. Down here in Corolado, my friends. 
We don't serve alcohol to miners. It ain't worth the hassle. Looking for Emma, we'll get a lot of customers here. You seem lively tonight. Did uh, Mel and Emma often argue? Yeah. Don't know what about. But Emma always knew how to push his buttons. Really? Emma was the one egging Mel on? Don't know. But since Emma went missing, Mel's has been even angrier. Emma was a troublemaker. She stabbed a guy who was hitting on her with a fucking fork. Emma was a troublemaker. She stabbed a guy who was hitting on her with a fork. I think that's it, dude. Yeah, okay, okay. Doesn't say to you, but maybe we'll talk to James again. Did somebody just come in? First time in a bar. First time in a bar. First time in a bar. I can't talk to this gentleman. Oh, there's a stage in the corner, dude. Someone's gonna perform at some point. There's not much we can do, it looks like. So maybe we'll just prepare for the next trigger? Which I believe is the last one of the day. If we can get that done, I will be content. We'll leave it there for the night. Dude, this game is so incredible. Okay, so, next up is the park, and this is the trigger that we got the game ending glitch last time. So why don't we head there early before we even get the call from Winona, and just wait to receive the phone call, and then hopefully just, you know, at 10.30 or whatever it is, it just triggers the, the event, and we don't have to necessarily drive into the oblivion and break the game again. The park, I believe, is by... I think it's directly south. Like south, like central south. By the police station, kind of, I think. Memory serves. I do assume that, like, day one, I think is probably, like, the most dense day. Do you think that's a reasonable thought? That, like, other days might not be as tight as this? Because, like, there's just so much exposition going on, and, like, like they have to set everything up. That I kind of feel like the subsequent days aren't going to be nearly as layered and as, like, tight. I, I mean, I could be wrong um, if, like, an answer's arc is even more complicated than a questions arc, but where am I going? Okay, so we'll just take a left and then do it. Um, Cause yeah, today has been tight and dense, man. Like in a semi-anxious kind of way, but a mainly very interesting and, and I don't know, I'm just gonna place a good storytelling as far as I'm concerned. This has been so interesting, and I like. I really feel like Matthew is investigating this thing, and like the information that he learns feels like he actually just learned it from talking to people who were at a place at a time. You know, maybe our teacher who's also here. Riverside Park, baby, beautiful. Little park is fucking beautiful, man. Peach! <laughs> Strange to see you in the park alone at night. Nice and relaxing here, isn't it? You should head on home. 
I'm gonna hang out here for a while. Like... We saw her in our first playthrough of this day here, but like even knowing that like we saw her again at the hospital makes her being here feel more meaningful. And like that I, I personally have more stakes in this individual's life. So seeing here again, I feel a, a deeper closeness to this character and like that's just so cool to me. But like last time we played this through, I didn't have the information of her hanging out with Barbara or whatever her name is in, in the hospital. Um, but like now I just know more about this individual. And like, even though it's the same scene in my head, it weighs an entirely different weight. And that to me is fucking utterly incredible. Um, so all we have to do here is wait until 10.05 where Win Winona will phone Matthew. And she'll ask him to meet her at the park. Okay, so it looks like this one known as scene is going to be the last of the day. And then we can save. <sighs> we'll wait just outside the park, I do believe. Man, should I go do anything now that we have like kind of like an hour to kill? I don't know what else we would do. Man, I'm reading uh, messages in my D&D Discord chat, like trying to plan the next session. And they're just like, how does a date literally three months from now work for everybody? Just how weird is that as adults? How far in advance you need to plan things to have fun. I want to talk to you before you get in your car. Matthew, there's a curfew, you know. Living by yourself at your age means you have to be disciplined. Okay, cool. Get out of here. Is that Mel on his motorcycle? Cool if so. Very cool if so. Um, yeah, I was thinking about that because like this weekend um, was a buddy of mine's bachelor party um, in like a cabin in the woods like four hours away from me. Um, and... We had this idea that, like, on Saturday, I would drive up with the rest of our D&D party, including somebody who lives on the opposite side of the country. I would pick him up at the airport, and we would drive to the cabin with the other members that weren't, like, you know, a part of the wedding party. We would drive to the cabin and surprise him with a D&D session that is centered around his character in the campaign. And the amount of planning that that took to get everybody on board, available, um, the finances of it, and then the creative side of it, you know, making sure that I was prepared to run a, a game for an 11 person table. Um, just the amount of planning and effort that had to go into having fun blew me away. Like when we were fucking kids, like put me in a room with a stranger with like a Super Nintendo on a television. And we would just fail at the first level for eight hours and that would just be our day and we would, that, that, that would be our source of fun. Now? Holy fuck, dude. You need to get like people like on the phone three months in advance to make sure that they're available for like eight hours to like make believe. Wild to me, man. It's fucking wild to me. Is this Melligan? Just taking laps? Just taking fucking laps, dude. God, my ass hurts, dude.
We did lower body at the gym yesterday. No, I was not shoving objects into my asshole, and that's why my ass hurts. Stop thinking that that was the case. Kevin. I'm bouncing. Whoop. Whoop. Whoa, you just walked. What the fuck? Wait, I gotta stick by, dude. Last time the fucking park did not load. Why don't we save? Why don't we save? Just in case. Why don't we save? You don't know. Wait, Winona! Okay, so she shows up first. I think I should let her call me. And like, we should go through the whole rigmarole of it. Just in case, because I know this is a weird glitchy part. Who dropped her off? sound effect dude oh it's creepy dude I don't like it <sighs> listen to this next time that dog sound is terrifying Oh my god, I don't like it at all. Alright, I think she calls at 10.05. Oh my god, I want to sample that! Freaks me out for some reason, I don't know why. There it is, dude. Matthew? Winona, what's up? I'm at the park right now. Could you come by? What are you doing at the park? I'm trying to think. Okay, I'm on my way. I'll be waiting. Eat. Eat. Let's go, baby. Cutscene, baby. Matthew. I thought you had a curfew. I, uh, snuck <laughs> out. Shouldn't have done that. I don't like you. What's wrong? Hmm. Is it Emma? Hmm. I think about Emma has been a shock. I'm still trying to come to grips with it myself. It's different for me. I should have seen this coming. What do you mean? I always knew Emma couldn't stand this town. I wanted to get as far away as she could. Dude, it's Rachel Amber, dude. Once, she brought me along to Club Wolves. As in the bar? The girl Wolf mentioned was Winona. Emma was wasted. And I was horrified. I tried to take her home, but this creepy guy wouldn't leave us alone. And we got rid of him, and then she said, Winona, this is no place for girls like you. 
That messed up. Mm. That's when I realized there was another side of Emma I didn't even know about. I tried real hard to understand that part of her. I really did. Mm. When we said goodbye that night, Emma asked, Is it fun being with me? So I told her, yeah, we're friends, remember? And then she said, Would you be sad if I disappeared? I just looked at her and went, Of course, why would you even ask that? I guess that was the right thing to say because it made her smile. Then she left. Oh, no, no. Am I going for a smooch? That was an obvious cry for help. Should have done something. Oh, the embrace. He's a looker. Matthew. Don't blame yourself. I bet Emma didn't want you to get caught up in whatever she was worried about. That's why she never told you what was going on, to protect you. She cared about you. Thank you, Matthew. I guess you've seen me at my lowest now. This isn't how I meant for this to go. Relax, it's fine. <laughs> You always expect too much of yourself. Wink taken. Thank you for listening to me. My dad will be worried about me. Should I go home? I should get home. You drive me back, won't you, Matthew? Yeah, of course. This is so clean, dude. The storytelling is so clean to me. Like, the characters are focused, and they've been through very focused things. It's not overly complicated, it's all understandable, like, immediately understandable, like, what Winona means when she speaks. Like, I, I don't know. I don't know. I love it. Okay, so we gotta get to the gas station. Straight. Left. Right, left, right. Who cares? We'll find it. It's hard to kind of like imagine Matthew as an actual character. You know what I mean? He's kind of just like perfect. Which, like, makes me think he's less of a character and more of a, just like a literary trope. Just like the fixer. Everything he says is perfect. He doesn't really have any insecurities himself. your fucking place, dude. Thanks. Anytime. Night. Matthew. Thank you for everything. Take care. Man, no boobies, huh? Matthew actually just listened to her. With no expectations of boobies for the night. Wild. He really is a perfect soul, huh? Alright, let's gas up while we're here. How do we do this? What up? How do we do this, dude? I didn't mean to wake you up, Robert. What the fuck? Welcome for service, right? It's just a worker. How damn thing you Man. Why even put a gas system in here? There's not gonna be any cost. I remember in the, uh, interview that I read with the director of this game, um, he did say the one thing that he wished he had time to implement was a money system so that food and gas wasn't just fucking free. Um, but it is. 
I do appreciate that it's here. He's like, yeah, of course your car is going to need gas. As is Matthew. With food and coffee. I certainly would be bitching if the alternative were the case. If there was no gas meter. No hunger gauge or whatever. Or no ability to consume food or coffee. Okay, we are going to call it there for the night. Um, I guess we'll save as the game intends you to save. That is, to sleep. I think what I'll do is just sleep for... I think we can sleep for an hour or five hours, I think. We'll just sleep for the hour, and then if we want to go ahead of time, we can. Nice fanfare! I don't know. There's no memory card to speak of. I don't know what it is that you're doing. Beautiful. Heck yeah, I love it. I love it. Just shy of midnight in the game. Let's save state it. We'll call it there, yo. This game is delightful. It's so good, dude. It's so good. The vibes are spot on. The story is is it's so clean and interesting and and the threads of interest, you know, there's nothing like I'm not questioning any of them. They're they're all comprehensible and like I I want to see those threads to the end. Um I don't know, man. It's Shenmu. It's Shenmu. It's Twin Peaks it is. Um I love it inside and out, yo. I'm going to be back with more soon. Uh, like I said earlier, I, w I wonder if each day is going to take this long. I've been playing for about three hours now. Um, I mean, if each... I think this game is a week long in game time, which would mean, you know, that's a 21-hour game, which is pretty crazy if it is this deep. Um, I expect it to slow down a little bit, but we'll see. We will certainly see. But hey, we didn't miss anything today, and it honestly wasn't that difficult to get to everything despite the schedule being so tight. So I do appreciate that, and and man, I guess we'll see what the future holds for this game, man. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I hope you are too. Seriously, this is so exciting to me to have a, a, a game that's 25 years old or whatever that like is truly like making me get it, giddy and childishly excited about it. Um, so yeah, let's go, baby. Let's fucking go. What happened to Emma? Who killed Kathy? Let's get our answers, baby. Thanks for watching. Peace.